Hey there Pokemon fans, Fajima101 here back with another Pokemon Battle Spot misadventure for you. Today we're going up against Matthew who's bringing some absolute legends with him, uh, quite literally. Uh, Matthew's bringing with him a Dialga Groudon and a Zekrom. Uh, we're actually just doing a bit of a quick team test here at the moment when we're recording this one. So we are bringing with us Iron Hide Eye Donphan, Char Charizard and uh, Greninja. So we'll jump straight into this one for you guys. So Matthew's issuing a challenge and he's going to open up with, we're going to open up with Donphan and Matthew's going to send out Zekrom so uh, yeah pretty scary here, we're a little bit outgunned to be honest but we'll see what we can do. So we're going to go up with an ice shard turn 1 just to see what this thing actually wants to do, we are physically defensive so we should be okay if it goes for a physical attack. Um, we see that super effective but does absolutely jack crap. Uh, you're going to get a dragon claw off on Donphan, we're defensive we can take that, we're going to get our lefties recovery. So he's not in the worst position ever. Um, it does mean that we're going to be able to go through for an EQ this turn. Providing we can have this Zen headbutt, which we do, thankfully. So Don Fan's ball really paying off for us here. Uh, let's see how much this EQ does. That does a nice shot. In fact, it one shots this thing. Oh, we score a crit. Mm, super effective crit may or may not have mattered, to be fair, guys. May or may not have mattered. But still, that's one legendary down and two to go. So you can see Dialga come through now, so again his fingers were weak to ground, so he's packing a big ground weakness on this team. Um, so hopefully we can take advantage of that. And we can see War of Time from Dialga. I don't think we're leaving that though. Ooh, yeah, sorry Donphan, you're not leaving that one mate. Yeah, Donphan goes down to that War of Time unfortunately. Uh, we're going to go into Charb, mainly because we pack EQ. Um, for no other reason, he's at least going to at least possibly hit this thing for some super effective damage. Um, so we're going to get a Mega Revolution off here. Charles is going to hit the field for us. Uh, we're going to go for an EQ. It is super effective. Dragon Claw is neutral because of the Steel Typing. Uh, it's going to be a two hit KO it looks like. Um, Dialga has got to recharge thankfully. And we do have speed which means we can get another EQ off here. Which should pick up the KO on this Dialga for us. So Dialga is going to come drop down. Uh, you can see Graydon come out here, so this is a bit of a surprise. Um, he's going to set the sun up, and I'm thinking, well, I'm done because I've got nothing that can hit this. I can EQ it, but I know, I know he wins this fight every time. Um, so we're going to outspeed speed and go for an EQ. Uh, it is only level 45, though. Um, we do score a crit, so that's crit for crit going on here. Uh, we're going to get, going to go for an EQ, not a press speed blaze. Maybe he doesn't want to risk the miss, but we live on 28, thankfully. And Charles going to pick another EQ up here. That should... Just about barely miss picking up the We see Rest Groudon. Okay. Um, slightly surprised we're not seeing its primal evolution as well with this one, to be fair. Um, going to see him become healthy again. So I was expecting maybe a berry or something to wake up, but no, we're not going to see one. Uh, so no Cossack berry on this thing. Or, um, so we're going to get another EQ off. That looks like that's a free hit KO minus a crit. Uh, so we'll just DQ again. Hopefully if we can get three turns of sweep, we can win this one for us. So Grun's going to try going to take him down again. Uh, we see this thing is still going to have a little bit of a nap. Don't think there's five levels difference to making a massive difference here with this one. Um, Grun's going to stay asleep. Charles going to be able to just come in and pick up the KO on this thing. We do score a crit on that last one. Crit didn't matter. Crit didn't matter that one, unfortunately. Um, so interesting team there from Matthew. Uh, may want to watch for Grand Weakness though, mate, when you're running legendaries. Because well, that is a scary team to go up against. If you enjoyed that one, guys, please leave a like rating or even subscribe to the channel for more contact updates. And if I don't see you around, I will see you on Battle Spot. Take care for now.